Hey everybody, Toby Boyce, Triumphality Incorporated, coming to you today uh, with another buyer's tip. I'm getting a lot of questions lately on pre-qualifications, and today we're going to sit here and talk a little bit about the importance of being pre-qualified, but what to expect uh, from that pre-qualification letter. Uh, realistically, the biggest thing about a pre-qualification or pre-approval letter, okay, we're going to talk about the difference there. A pre-qualification letter means you're a warm body and... Basically, a pre-qualification letter in today's market says you talk to um, the mortgage person, and the mortgage person, you know, felt your pulse and says, "Hey, based upon what you told me, this is what we can do." Uh, basically, you can do the same thing on, you know, basically a pre-qualification is kind of like running your own numbers on, you know, any mortgage calculator and saying, "Hey, well, based upon what this told me, this is what you're good for." A pre-approval letter is a little more detailed. It basically says that you've They've run your numbers through a few things. They've checked your credit. They've done a little more in-depth look at your finances, and they've said, okay, assuming everything stays the same and assuming that we're able to get this online, we can then offer you this amount of money based upon this, what you've, been, what you've told us. Your approval, approval letter and then is going to normally say, hey, you're pre-approved up to X amount of dollars based upon contingencies. Your normal contingencies are going to be, you know, employment staying the same, um, no big purchases, yada, yada, yada. Basically, it just says, hey, the home meeting requirements based upon the type of loan. You know, there's enough, there's some get out of jail free cards for the bank so the way the bank doesn't, isn't stuck trying to lend you money if you don't meet the criteria in 30 days. Uh, but basically, a pre-approval letter is going to do that. And now the, the benefit of searching with that pre-approval letter is it's going to allow you to know that, hey, I am pre-approved up to X amount of dollars. So we're not looking, so you're not thinking based upon that pre-qualification. You know, a pre-qualification basically says, okay, I make X or this is what I think I can spend. But maybe there's something in your background that trips you up a little bit, okay? And so instead of that pre-qualification saying that you're going to be able to buy a $300,000 house, the pre-approval only says you can buy a 250. Well, in Central Ohio, there's a huge difference between a $300,000 house and a $250,000 house, um, and where you're going to be living, and you know, and that's it's the what your expectations are from each one of those. Now, you can find nice houses in both levels. It's not you're going to not buy a house. It's not that kind of thing. But what it does is it, it says, okay, if you're looking at $300,000 houses and you look at 10 $300,000 houses, thinking that's what you can buy. And suddenly I tell you, well, you can only buy a $250,000 house. You're probably not going to like the $250,000 houses. And the rationale being you have to give something up to get that $300,000 house. Because it's all about, there's, you know, three things in real estate that you can control. And there's a reason that house is priced $50,000 more. So one of those pieces that you're gonna, you can control, price, condition, location, or size, is going to be less. And at, at least one, maybe all three. And that's why the price is $50,000 less. All right? Uh, until next time, this is Toby from Triumph Realty saying, hey, we'll talk to you on the flip side. Check us out at www.delawareoh.realestate.com.